the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are going to reflect in a special way, special way about the Holy Family. There are a lot of things that we can learn from the Holy Family. And there are a lot of things that the Lord is teaching us through the Holy Family. And let's reflect about these, uh, refl uh, these points about Holy Family. You know, in the history of humanity, for the first time when a man looked at woman, when, I, when a man saw a woman, he saw the woman along with God. And for the first time, when a woman looked at a man in the history of humanity, the woman saw the man along with God. When Adam looked at Eve, he saw Eve along with God. When Eve looked at Adam, he saw Adam along with God. Therefore, every human being, when you look at the other person, especially when you look at the, your spouse or maybe when you look at your opposite sex, then you should see them along with God. You cannot see them without God. When you see them without God, and that is when abuses happen, that is when brokenness happens, that is when hurt and rejection and wounds happen. But in the history, for the first time when man looked at woman, he saw the woman along with God. And she saw the man along with God. Therefore, we should look at everyone along with God. If you see the holy family, the, for the first time when Mother Mary and Joseph came together, that is hidden presence of Jesus. There was Jesus. Jesus was present in the holy family. Even when the, from the moment of marriage till the end, Jesus was present in their marriage. So in their life, so the same way in every family, God expects this point, this most important point that we need to remember. You cannot look at another person without God. The moment you start, start seeing the other person without God, and that is when abuses and hurts and wounds happens. Remember, it is God who brought this husband for you. It is God who brought this wife for you. And God is always present between you. We read like this, Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. We read like this, wherever two or three are gathered together, where two or three are gathered together in my name, where two or three are gathered together in my name. I am there among them. 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 The Lord was there with Adam and Eve. The Lord was there when Joseph and Mary was together. The Lord is there wherever the husband and wife come together. Because it is God who is initiating this relationship. Please do not forget this fact. Therefore, where there is a family, there is Jesus too, because Jesus is inevit is an important part of your family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Colossians chapter three, verse fourteen. Let's read Colossians chapter three, verse fourteen. We read like this: Above all, above all, clothe yourselves with love. Clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together. Which binds everything together in perfect harmony. In perfect harmony. This love is possible only when. The true love, that is God is love and God is present. When God is present, then you will be able to clothe yourselves with love. And there will be perfect harmony in the family. Praise the Lord. Every marriage, God is very much involved. God is concerned about every marriage. And that is why the Lord gives a assurance every husband and wife every bride and bridegroom who enters into the marriage, the Lord is giving you an assurance. This assurance is from the Lord, but normally proclaimed by the church. When you celebrate the marriage, the church gives you an assurance. That assurance is this. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20, we read like this. Matthew chapter 1 verse 20, when Joseph was confused whether to Accept Mother Mary as his wife when he was going through a tough time to take a decision. He was worried what would be the future. 
he was tensed about everything that was happening in their life and he was he understood there is something going something wrong happening and that is when when he asked the lord the lord said but just when he had resolved to do this but just when he had resolved to do this an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream and said an angel, angel of the lord, lord appeared to him in a dream and said joseph joseph son of david son of david do not be afraid to take mary as your wife do not be afraid to take mary as your wife for the child conceived in her is from the holy spirit for the child conceived in her is from the holy spirit always remember everyone who enter into the sacrament of marriage the church is giving you an assurance do not be afraid to take your wife as your wife take her as your wife take him as your husband do not be afraid praise the lord praise the lord why why the church gives you this assurance because the church knows that in every marriage there is a secret hidden presence of god when adam saw eve he saw eve along with god when eve saw adam she saw adam along with god when mother mary and joseph got married there was hidden presence of jesus in between them the whole throughout their marriage there is a hidden presence of mother our lord jesus in the in that family that holy family is very important for all the couples to know this fact it is not only you both together it is there is a hidden presence of jesus in every married life therefore when you are obedient to each other so marriage is not an obedience to the other person marriage is an obedience to jesus who is present in every marriage praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so the lord is telling you do not be afraid to take her take him as your husband or your wife do not be afraid because he is there in your marriage he is present in your marriage therefore do not be afraid this is the assurance the lord wants to give to every husband and wife be strong and be convinced about the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters the holy family is also teaching us another lesson the holy father holy family also recognized certain very important lessons of their life and that is joseph is a carpenter and he had made a beautiful house for mother mary and joseph to stay in and he with his hard work he built a house for himself and also for mother mary that is the jewish custom after the betrothal the bridegroom is supposed to go and make a house and come back and take the bride and go to enter into the uh, bridal chamber the new house and stay there so joseph with his capacity with his talents he made a beautiful beautiful house for them but it is not that in that house jesus was born it was not in that house the family was brought up most of the time joseph and mary they thought they will be able to live peacefully in nazareth but it is not there they were brought up more, most of the time they could not live there peacefully joseph and mary thought when they go to bethlehem since mother mary is the mother of god the whole path will be cleared for them they will have a beautiful house to stay in bethlehem but it is not their plan or this, this is not their desire that fulfilled they didn't have even a shelter in the bethlehem and joseph and mary they they had their own plans but it is the lord's plan that was executed it is not their plan they could not do anything of their own praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you father thank you father so always remember this is something that we can learn from their lesson from their family they had a lot of plans all their plans were shattered all their plans were blocked and it was plan of god executed when they were going through these experiences it may, it may be very painful to go through these experiences their plans and desires are not fulfilled they wanted to give a best land 
best place the blessed house the best house for jesus to be born and they they knew jesus is the son of god and the divine being himself therefore they had a desire to give the best position best place for jesus but it happened to be the worst place the manger the cattle shed and this is something that happens in our families we have our best ex- expectation about our children the best dream about our family we want the best house and the best conveniences but mostly it is just opposite don't worry the holy family also faced such situations and your family also will face such situations mostly all our families are facing the same situations we all have our own plans but only the plan of god will be fulfilled only the plan of god will be if you cooperate with the plan of god at the end of the whole story you will be so happy now when joseph look back when mary looks back they are so happy for everything that happened all the stories that happened all the incidents that happened all the failures that happened all what happened in bethlehem they are happy about it there is a day when you will have the whole picture in front of you that day you will appreciate every crisis every struggle every difficulties you faced in your life but when you go through it may be very difficult for you to go through the holy family is teaching us a lesson we all not will not be different just because you are chosen one just just because you are chosen by the heavenly father just because god himself is present in your family doesn't mean your family life will be smooth and therefore learn from this lesson from this holy family the holy the almighty god himself was there in the family but they went through all the shattered dreams all the plans were uh, shaken all the dreams that they had not fulfilled so this is what the lord is telling you and me from the holy family experience praise the lord praise the lord let's read this word of god thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you father thank you father praise you father praise you father we love you jesus we love you jesus we glorify you jesus we glorify you jesus we thank you abba we father thank you abba father we love you jesus we love you jesus thank you father thank you father praise you jesus praise you jesus we love you lord we love you lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus Jeremiah 29 verse 11 let's read this word of god Jeremiah 29 verse 11 for surely for surely i know the plans i have for you i know, I know the, the plans, plans i have says the lord says, says the, the lord plans for your welfare plans for your welfare and not for harm not, not for, for harm to give you a future with hope to give, give you a future, future with hope a future with hope future with hope praise the lord praise the lord somebody wants to question god it is the holy family who should question god because they have all the adverse situations that they had i have seen many people asking just because some tragedy happens some sickness happens some adverse inten- uh, things happens when their prayers are not answered as the thing when the things doesn't go as they expected many people ask this common question where is your god or where is our god why god is doing like this whether god exists these are the common questions many people ask when something goes wrong in their life but if you look into the life of holy family everything went wrong but still never they never question god so all the things that happened in their life it was just opposite when mother mary was pregnant from the holy spirit Joseph doubted though God helped them to sort it out but later when they were going to Bethlehem the whole journey long journey it was a difficult journey but there was no angel to support them when they reached the Bethlehem there was no house to stay nobody gave them a house god did not prepare a house for them the at last they got only a manger a cattle shed not that is not the best place for it woman to give birth and they had no money no income no house of their own and later they had to run away from egypt from uh, bethlehem to egypt 
if god is jesus is god then why should he run away if jesus is god why should they run away why are they afraid why can't jesus stop these enemies who are trying to kill him if jesus is god who can kill him so all these questions could they could ask but they just obeyed the messages of god they just obeyed as the law as the suffering comes into their life they accepted it whatever that came to their life they accepted it wholeheartedly they knew this is the path that we have to take miracle means alternative is possible but real life means take the path what god gives you so those who are holy family will take the path that is given by god but those who are not so holy family they will always search for miracles and wonders because they want alternative so which one you prefer look at the holy family they didn't go for alternatives they accepted the life that is set in front of them jesus said eat what is set before you eat what is set before you and that is how we are called for each one has different lives god has prepared for us we have each one has a different path to take take that path that is in front of you because that is what the will of god is if god wants to bless any family the most eligible family on earth to receive all the blessings of heaven all the support of heaven all the angels support all the support of from the whole heavenly beings that was the holy family but they did not get any special or supernatural support other than the supernatural sufferings and struggles and difficulties that is what happened to the holy family if that is what happened to the holy family all the families who wants to be holy family should be ready to take the path which god gives you don't search for alternatives because this is the path god wants you to take you may have your own dreams but none of these dreams may be fulfilled joseph had dreams joseph mother mary had dream but it was the dream of the heavenly father fulfilled in their life let us pray in a special way so that let his will be done not my will so this is the intention the lord is asking us to pray for when you have when you join for this retreat praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus therefore the word of god says eat what is set before you sisters we are living in a world where many people are thinking of committing suicide just be- because they don't have a house of their own just because they have their they don't have a house of their own just because they have not enough money just because they have no friendship and connections but we know from bible jesus never had a shelter we read matthew chapter 8 verse 20 matthew chapter 8 verse 20 we read like this and jesus said to him and jesus said to him foxes have holes foxes, foxes have, have holes. holes and birds of the air have nests and, and the birds of the air have nests but the son of man has nowhere to lay his head but, but the, the son, son of man, man has nowhere to lay his head praise the lord praise the lord so this is what jesus is so jesus is the right person to help you he knows your pain if you don't have a house of your own he will understand your pain he will help you praise the lord praise the lord let's read luke chapter 12 verse 15 luke chapter 12 verse 15 we read like this luke chapter 12 verse 15 and he said to them and he, and he said, said to them, them take care take, take care. care be on your guard be, be on, on your, your guard. guard against all kinds of greed against all, all kinds, kinds of greed for one's life does not consist for one's, one's life does not consist in the abundance of possessions in the, the abundance, abundance of possessions so jesus though he doesn't have any place or any time any money or anything but he knows this the life is not consisting in the abundance and abundance of possessions praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you, jesus. jesus no holy family taught us to see god in the worst poverty so when the magi the kings came the shepherd came they saw jesus among some broken cloth among 
the straw thatched basket and among the cattle around so the this holy family teaches to see god in the poorest of poorest situations praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus it is the holy family who taught us to see god in a cattle shed it is the holy family who taught us to see god in the mount calvary where the blood pain suffering cries wounds dead bodies around cross crosses around there you can see god it is the holy family who taught us all these things we all have a different idea about god you know sometimes we think god is in the most beautiful place most precious place most golden plated boxes or maybe golden plated houses or make expensive houses and most like a paradise places but holy holy family taught us god is also there in the manger god is also there in the broken basket god is also there covered with the broken clothes god is there in the manger and god is there on mount calvary god is there in the midst of all those who are crying god is there so it is the bro- the holy family who taught us all these things praise the lord praise the lord matthew chapter 11 was 25 let's read Matthew chapter 11 verse 25 we read at that time Jesus said at that, at that time, time Jesus said I thank you father I thank, I thank you father, father lord of heaven lord, lord of heaven and earth and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise because, because you have, have hidden, hidden these things from the, the wise, intelligent and the intelligent and I have revealed them to infants and have revealed them to infants only those who are like small children infants will understand the message you can see Jesus in the weak weakest of weak and poorest of poorest situations and holy family taught us this 